Hey guys, it's your girl Nancy. I'm back with another girl talk video. Yes, I know it's been long and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to stay confident. I know a lot of guys think that confidence is having a lot of stuff, having cars, having a big house. People think that confidence comes with materialistic things and no, it does not. Today I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you guys five five things that you can do or that or rather that I do that I personally do to make sure that I stay confident so if you're interested please stay tuned and the first the first thing to do in order to stay confident is to eliminate negative people I know I said this uh, on my how to stay positive uh, video and trust me uh, eliminating negative people from your life is going to do a lot for you guys so start by eliminating negative people and I know you just can't wake up and say to hell with everyone no you can't do that because maybe the negative people are at your workplace maybe they are at your, at your school maybe they are in maybe they are your relatives sometimes you know relatives suck yeah i know uh, but of course you can't do that so you just do it slowly like you you can stop hanging out let's say for example if it's a friend that is negative they always are looking down on you and stuff like that you can just cut them off friends that do, don't benefit you that don't even get the better that don't inspire you to be your better self you can just eliminate them um and for in the case of uh work area of course i'm not telling you guys to go and quit your job come on we can't do that we need that coin yeah so you can't eliminate people from work all you do is just be professional with them and cut personal ties with them don't talk to them about personal stuff and things like that because Anyway, if that person you're talking to isn't isn't um, advising you on a positive note and is just looking down on you when you bring them your, your when you bring your problems to them, then it's not what that. So eliminate. The first step is to eliminate negative people. The second step, the second step to staying, uh, the second step on how to be confident is to compliment others. Think about it this way if you call if you get a compliment how does that make you feel I know it makes you feel good yeah yeah so when you when you come when you get a compliment and let's say for example it is someone you really thought was hey she's always stuck up or she's she I, I feel like she's not a genuine person not really a genuine person but let's say if you didn't even like someone and that particular person comes and compliments you i know you'll start to be like ah she's not so bad after all senior yeah so if you and then now you can just you can just reverse it and compliment others i'm not saying that you compliment people fake uh, fakely if that's a word if you don't don't throw out fake compliments come on we can't do that just be honest if you see a friend or someone with the nice shoes just tell them hey you have nice shoes trust me that will make you feel good and that will build your self-confidence just the way like when someone compliments you you feel confident you feel good about yourself yeah yeah so the third the third the third thing i like doing in order to stay confident is doing something good for myself do something good for yourself example um or rather just do something good that that's good for your body uh, for example if you're a girl i know we like shopping and doing stuff like that you can shop for a nice outfit you can go shopping i'm not saying you spend all your money no don't do that but once in a while you can just go out buy yourself an expensive handbag an expensive outfit or maybe some nice shoes or or you can just like go do your nails you can do your nails you can like put makeup on for those who don't put makeup on um if that will make you feel good just do something that's that will boost your confidence okay um the other thing that goes hand in hand with that to add on to my to that point is to dress nicely when you dress nicely you will get compliments and when you dress nicely you will also you will also feel confident 
yeah do it make sense yeah yeah <laughs> okay and the other thing that you can do that is good for your body you can start going to the gym maybe if you feel like you you need to work out or you're overweight or something like that you can you can start working out you can also you can also start drinking uh, drinking water that is for the ones that don't like drinking water you can start drinking water and if you if you achieve that goal at the end of the day you will feel good about yourself and it will boost your confidence the other thing the other thing i like to do is to develop my brain you need to develop your brain so, uh, by de developing your brain i mean you need to be learning something new very often like you can maybe you can just go to the internet and search how to edit a video if you learn how to edit a video and you, by the end of the day you learn something you will feel confidence and you will feel good about yourself you can also read books personally i like reading personal development books uh, it it helps me like grow as a person and it also helps to point out um to help you grow as a human being um you can also download like audiobooks if you don't if you're not a fan of reading you can download audiobooks you can listen to them uh you can read a newspaper for those who don't want to read books you can read the newspaper just develop your brain yeah always have something new you want to learn just learn something new be creative if you're a content creator do some research on how to to create a video i don't know just be creative and and also reading books will also help you develop your grammar it will help you uh it will help you uh develop your vocabulary voc <laughs> vocabulary vocabulary skills <laughs> yeah it will help you develop your vocabulary skills um yeah so develop your brain so that you will be confident and the final step is to help someone out not just anybody help someone who is in need you can do this uh on a regularly i know we don't meet a lot of people in need nowadays because you are not sure if the person is actually needy or they are just uh scamming you through pretense i don't know yeah so you can you can you can help someone you can I, i'm sure most of you guys especially chicks we have a lot of clothes in our closet that we don't wear anymore you can take those clothes those old clothes from your closet wash them pack them nicely and take them to a children's home and donate and please please i beg you guys if you're going to do that don't share it on facebook or post a story doing it no the idea of doing this is to make yourself better because when you help someone else when you help someone when you help someone automatically you will feel good about yourself and it will boost your confidence level so don't go and post it on social media at today i went at today i went to a children's home at to donate clothes and food stuff no don't do that just keep quiet pack your things your food stuff or whatever you want to donate pack it and just go and donate it to a children's home don't help others so that it can be seen on social media so that others see you no that is not being genuine and that's not and that's not good confidence and self esteem is something that is developed over time nobody wakes up in the morning and they are confident hmm? so yeah me i want you guys to like when someone says the word confidence the first thing they think of is your name please just just take these five steps trust me it will work wonders it will work wonders for you so that's it guys hope you enjoyed this girl talk series please leave a comment down below on what you want me to talk about next uh, and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed because i have great content coming up for you guys so yeah until next time stay confident always